Hey everybody, I got a really good project for you guys today. Um, today we're going to build a ebb and flow or a flood and drain hydroponic system. First, this is what you need. You go and get yourself a length of half inch PVC, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. It'll, it comes in a 10 foot length and uh, it's about a dollar eighty or less. Okay, you get yourself a bag of half inch 90s. I think there's eight in the bag. Probably cost about two fifty, under three dollars. Um, a couple half inch cross tees cost you about a buck fifty. A uh, real crucial part here, you get some half by half by three quarter tees. Very important that three quarter is up top. The reason for this is that three quarter fits perfect inside of a juicy juice bottle. Okay, and then you just a little Teflon around there and make yourself a nice seal. Then, uh, top it off, you need yourself a Tetra. Well, I got this is what I got. You can use any pump. Tetra uh, waterfall pump or pond pump, whatever. Uh, cost 20 bucks at Home Depot. Now, <clears throat> what we did here, I rigged it up to this pipe in the back. Okay, so the water flows up here, as you can see. All right, 90s off goes into our cross tee. All right, now it splits the water to one pot here and one pot here. Okay, make sure that you have your tops cut. Uh, and then what it does here, if it fills up to its desired height on here, it begins to overflow and go back into our bucket where it'll aerate our feeding solution or whatever we have. Okay, um, the back here is pretty important because this is going to adjust the height of the water that's inside of here. Once it gets to this height of the overflow, obviously it'll and run over. So the the object here is to run this a couple times a day, four or five times, 15 minutes a piece. You flood the system out, saturate the roots, and then drain it all down. It aerates and voila, you got the beautiful plants. So, uh, as you can see too, I made it, it's just popped together. You can add on in the back with more tees and, you know, whatever. I went six inches here, six inches here, so it gives you 12 inches apart total. And then I would just go a foot beyond and keep them about a foot separated. So, let me plug this guy in and I will show you what we got. Oh, it's, by the way, it's very important to cut the, cut the tops off, because if you have a, <laughs> a juicy juice bottle in here or anything that you're using and you don't cut it, you'll create an air pocket inside and it'll never fill up. And, uh, yeah. And uh, you might want to put a vent in too, but I don't think I really need that right now. So let's plug it in and show you how it works. <clears throat> There's our water dropping. And let's look at our buckets here. Dinner now. There we go. See, they're filling up pretty well. Now, take notice to the height here in our overflow. As soon as it gets to that point of that 90, 3, 2, 1, it'll start overflowing and boom. And that'll start aerating that water really well. So they said about a couple of cycles a day. You know, you can make this as big as you want and you can really get a good garden started and stuff. And uh, another thing too, try to make sure your your pump inside doesn't have a foot valve or some kind of a check valve inside because what you want to do after it shuts down, you want it all to drain. Pretty important for aerating your roots. As you can see, no check valve on this one. Alright, <coughs> and that is pretty much that. So again, that is how to make an ebb and flow, uh, ebb and flow hydroponics, or better known as the flood and drain hydroponic system. Put it on a timer, and um, yeah, does it all itself. I'll try to update this later when I got something going in it and show you guys uh, how it works. Thanks for watching.